This character is Zhong Wu Yan, the peony fairy who was originally the sixth daughter of the Jade Emperor in Chinese mythology. She disguised herself as a witch and came down to earth to save suffering humans. But to be frank, I think she's an enchantress rather than a yecha, a hideous, ferocious woman described in the fairy tale. And that's only because I'd no clue about the mass code in Peking Opera before I met another fairy in real life. This is Zhao Nan, who's cast as the peony fairy. The 30-year-old is the fourth generation of inheritors since Qian Jinfu. Qian Jinfu was the earliest to combine Chinese traditional aesthetics with the art of Peking opera in the early 20th century. She painted herself as Zheng Wu Yan to show her determination to carry on and carry forward the art of the facial mask. And she explains why I couldn't tell beauty from ugliness. The spectrum of the facial mask in Peking Opera signifies the different characteristics of the personas. Red is a positive color in Chinese culture, signifying prosperity, intelligence, and bravery. Purple indicates justice and sophistication. And unlike Western culture, in which black is negative, the black mask is seen as neutral in Peking opera. Green implies violence and yellow, cruelty. Where white is regarded as a symbol of purity in Western culture, here it suggests evil. Apart from these six colors, thick or thin lines as well as heavy black or pale dots also have their own symbolism. Zhao Nan compares the beauty of Peking opera makeup with Chinese cuisine. 比如说我们吃一道菜去到地方最想让别人介绍一下这个菜该怎么吃比如我们去到上海吃个小笼吃个那个蟹黄包要先喝汤然后再去吃对吧然后比如吃北京的烤鸭我当时北京的朋友就有
Over nearly four decades, Zhao Yongqi has published many professional books, including the cultural history of Chinese ethnography. His works have made great contributions to the collection, classification, and painting of facial makeup from various genres of Peking opera. Jing Yu Lian Pu, ah, became the Chinese makeup master. He took the facial expression, the facial expression, and the facial expression. He is the facial expression and the facial expression. He represents the personality of the person. The more he paints, the more complex the person is. His personality is more complex. 画得越简单的人，性格越好。像脸谱，整个真正是中国美术史的一个发展史。早期的脸谱，这这是三色：黑、白、红。到现在京剧发展到大成的时候，它是五颜六色，精英都上去了。是他把脸谱的所有的性格都表现得特别完整。Zhao Yongqi supports innovation, but insists on a solid foundation. 最放不下的就是一些传统的东西，一定要继承下来。总而言之，年轻人啊，在原有的基础上，然后再发展创新。传统的东西多看多学，特别是剧照了。原来那那东西，有些老的视频，你多看一些。传统的东西能知道多一点，然后再去发展创新就最好了。最欣慰的，他的东西，他的艺术天赋还可以，画的东西他抓的特点还抓的很很准。我还是很支持的，因为我也喜欢创新。因为走出了这么多年嘛，传统的东西虽然很好，但是一堆创新适合就是现在人的审美观。With a comprehensive understanding and cognition of the art of Peking opera, as well as creativity and confidence, Zhao Nan is well on her way to something new and something big. 七姐 ，CGTN Beijing。